What is the meaning of this, Papa? Who are these hunters with the red dragon? They are blessed with the power of the sword. No one can come against them. And why are they so relentless in wanting to kill us? They are of the seed of Esau. Let me tell you the story of Jacob and Esau. Genesis chapter 25 verses 21 to 27. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord granted his plea, and Rebekah his wife conceived. But the children struggled together within her, and she said, If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. So when her days were fulfilled for her to give birth, indeed there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red. He was like a hairy garment all over, so they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's hair, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore him. So the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. But Jacob was a mild man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once, when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in from the open country, famished, hungry. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of that red stew. I'm famished. That is why he was also called Edom. Jacob replied, First, sell me your birthright. Look, I'm about to die, Esau said. What good is the birthright to me? But Jacob said, mm -mm, swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and some lentils too. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. Genesis chapter 27 When Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that he couldn't see, he called for Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, here I am, he answered. Isaac said, I'm now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Now then, get your equipment, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and... Bring it to me to eat, so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Now, Rebekah was listening as Isaac spoke to his son Esau. When Esau left for the open country to hunt game and bring it back, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, Look, I overheard your father say to your brother Esau, Bring me some game and prepare me some tasty food to eat, so that I may give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. Now, my son, listen carefully and do what I tell you. Go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats so I can prepare some tasty food for your father just the way he likes. Then 
take it to your father to eat so that he may give you his blessing before he dies. Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, But my brother Esau is a hairy man while I have smooth skin. What if my father touches me? I, I would appear to be tricking him and would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing. His mother said to him, My son, let the curse fall on me. Just do what I say. Go and get them for me. So he went and got them and brought them to his mother. And she prepared some tasty food just the way his father liked it. Then Rebekah took the best clothes of Esau, her older son, which she had in the house, and put them on her younger son, Jacob. She also covered his hands and the smooth part of his neck with the good skins. Then she handed to her son Jacob the tasty food and the bread she had made. He went to his father and said, My father. Yes, my son, he answered. Who, who is it? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I've done as you've told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may give me your blessing. Isaac asked his son, How did you find it so quickly, my son? Um, the Lord your God um, gave me success, he replied. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near so I can touch you, my son, to know whether you really are my son Esau or not. Jacob went close to his father Isaac, who touched him and said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He didn't recognize him, for his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. So he proceeded to bless him. Are you ready, my son Esau? He asked. I am, he replied. Then he said, My son, bring me some of your game to eat, so that I may give you my blessing. Jacob brought it to him, and he ate, and he brought some wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come here, my son, and kiss me. So he went to him and kissed him. When Isaac cut the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you heaven's dew and earth's richness, an abundance of grain and new wine. May nations serve you and people bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and may the sons of your mother bow down to you. May those who curse you be cursed and those who bless you be blessed. I am blessed. After Isaac finished blessing him, and Jacob had scarcely left his father's presence, his brother Esau came in from hunting. He too prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. Then he said to him, My father, please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your blessing. His father Isaac asked him, Who are you? Um, I am your son, he answered, your firstborn, Esau. Isaac trembled violently and said, Who, who, who was it? Then that hunted game and brought it to me. I, 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 I ate it just before you came and I blessed him and indeed he will be blessed. When Esau heard his father's words, he burst out with a loud and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, me too, my father. But he said, Your brother came deceitfully and took your blessing. Esau said, Isn't he rightly named Jacob? This is the second time he has taken advantage of me. He took my birthright and now he has taken my blessing. Then he asked, Haven't you reserved any blessing for me? Isaac answered Esau, I have made him lord over you and have made all his relatives his servants and I have sustained him with grain and new wine. So what can I possibly do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Do you have only one blessing, my father? 
Bless me too, my father. Then it's so wept aloud. Hey. As you can see here, Esau is making a petition to his father. He is asking, he is requesting, he is pleading. Let's continue. His father Isaac answered him, Your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness, away from the dew of heaven above. You will live by the sword, which means you will live through violence, and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Esau held a grudge against Jacob because of the blessing his father had given him. He said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are near. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Papa, what happened to Esau thereafter? Where did he go? Esau moved to Mount Seir and intermarried with the Horites. This is why the nation of Edom is sometimes referred to in biblical prophecies as Mount Seir, their initial dwelling place. According to the renowned British biblical scholar and pioneer Assyriologist, Professor Archibald Henry says, Hor or Horite has sometimes been explained to mean cave dweller. It more probably, however, denotes the white race. In our Akan oral tradition, however, the story of Esau and Jacob began in the spirit. Therefore, you will know Esau by his spirit his determination to separate you from the god of Yakoba, first and foremost, in order to then steal, kill, and destroy by the power given to him by the red dragon. But remember, we serve the good shepherd that has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Fear not, as it was written aforetime, that Esau is the end of the word and you Jacoba is the beginning of it that follows <laughs>